I used to have this argument with my students that the Western culture, American culture, or if you want, Swedish culture, was better than the Amazonian Indian culture. And the kids would always say no, because they, they've learned that you can't make value judgments between cultures. I said, of course you, you can. I said, let's break this up into to, to different things. So I said, let's think about science. I said, we have better science. Now, not more advanced science, of course we do, but I'm saying that that more advanced science is better than we would think about T technology. I said, I think the more advanced technology, the nuclear stuff we have is a better, not more advanced, better. And medicine, of course, is better. And then when I said arts, music, and 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 painting, they really got, got angry because they said, you can't make those kind of judgments about that. And I, I thought you could, and we had that argument. And then with about f five minutes left of class, I would say, we have better religion and moral beliefs. And then the, the, the class went into an uproar because uh, this is just not sad. And I said, wait a minute, do you, are you saying that we cannot make j judgments about m moral b beliefs? Do you think that moral beliefs are like chocolate and vanilla ice cream that we all have different tastes? And you can say, well, they have that one and we have that one, but we can't make j j judgments about, about them. And I said, are you, are you saying then that when people use words like justice, that they're just lying, right? As Thrasymachus says in the, the Republic, Plato's Republic, when he's talking to Socrates, justice is just that which the strong does. That's not what I want to argue about today. That, that will be a good lecture later. Today I want to think about, are there certain beliefs that we have to believe if we are going to live in this society, the uh, United States of 2018? And, and I have written it here. Are there, are there, because you know I like these lines, are there things th th that are m more important to believe in and less important to believe in? We'll p put them in a continuum. Maybe it's not binary, you have to or don't have to, but there are some things that it's more important that we would believe in them and things that, that are l less important. Now, f f first, let's remember, this is uh, America. You can believe whatever you want. Not only can you believe whatever you want, but you can say it and you can p publish it. Understand that we're an anomaly. Most countries don't do that. Most countries have hate crime, hate speech crimes. They have Holocaust-denying crimes. They have blasphemy. They, they have anti-royal, like in Thailand. America's a, a strange place. We just let people say anything. But I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm, I'm saying in p -p polite society, and I guess I would look at it like this. Are you saying that in polite society... That some uh, that all the beliefs are are equal. I understand everyone can say what they want, but they're not equal, right? Westboro B B Baptists are bad, and they're they're not in a polite society. So the question I have is: Are there more important beliefs to proclaim in society? Societal beliefs. Uh, and or to act upon, I don't know. Uh, let's just keep it to proclaim, to say. And what would they be? So uh, let's see how many minutes we have. Okay, we're almost at five. Right now, I want you to think about that. I, I have t t t two in mind, but if you'll just think right now, and we'll end with this, where would you put evolution, abortion, 
and vaccination on this line. And then we'll come back in the next lecture and talk some more. Thank you.